Welcome once again, this is Katie Samuel. Today I want to show you um, how to apply oyster shell powder. And this is very essential for snail farming because if you do not do this, your snails are going to be deprived of um, calcium. I think in previ previous videos I have shown um, some characters they exhibit when they are calcium deficient. They can eat the wall of the pen they can even eat on, feast on other snail shells. I mean live snails, they will feast on the shells and kill them. So uh, if you can come closer, you would realize that this is oyster shell powder. I went to somebody's farm and then they said they had bought oyster shell powder and it looked like Okonti. Mm -hmm. So please, this is actually how it looks like. Usually the machine will mill it, but it can't mill it to perfection. So you'd always have this uh, chip pens in it and that's why we need to sieve it as you can see it over here. So uh, what we do is that we sieve it, we pour it into this uh, mosquito net, sometimes we fold it into two and then we pour it this way so that we take out the, the sharp ends. We take out the sharp ends. So come, come closer, let me show you. So this is how it's, it's going to look like. You can get closer. So you see this is much more smoother and this has more calcium than eggshell because I realized that some very big farms are depending on eggshells from the Indomicellus. If we check the amount of calcium from this and compare it to the eggshell, this is better. So I, I would advise that everybody does oyster shell powder. In the next um, video, I'll be showing you how we apply this powder into the pens. There are about three ways of introducing the oyster shell powder into the pens. The first one is the feed. After washing it and then you are ready to put it into the, the pen, you can just dump it in the powder like that, so that they go through the powder before they get to the feed. Um, you can also put the feed in the pens and then sprinkle the powder onto the feed. Or, so, in this situation, you can either sprinkle it on the feed like that so they go through the, the, the powder before the feed, and then also you sprinkle it onto the leaves. Sometimes you can also sprinkle it onto the soil that you have in your pen and then they will eat the soil. You know snails eat soil. So you do this before you water the, the leaf and the calcium will go deep into the, the soil. Sometimes the snails also leave the, the cocoa leaves that we have in the pen. So we, we have a bowl of, of water So every day we have a plate that we put water into. So when the when the plate or, or bowl of water is placed in the middle, we sprinkle um, some of the soil, some of the sorry, some of the oyster shell powder into it with water. Um, we're about to put water into it so that you see how it looks like. So you see, it looks it looks like dirty water, but it's actually the color of the powder that makes it look that way. So when you do this at night, the snails are going to drink this water and then they will have some calcium from there. So this is how we apply calcium. And this is not even debatable, like I always like to say. It's something that is very essential for your snow farm and the success of your farm. Sometimes too, you can choose to put the actual um, oyster shell in the in the pen but 
it will take the snail a couple of weeks or months to go through this it's very very hard so that's why we make it into this powdered form however if you want your snails to exercise their jaws you can put a couple of these in your pen and then trust me they'll consume it but it will take a while so thank you for watching this thank you for watching subscribe to this youtube channel so that you can get more tidbits thank you and have a great day bye